Welcome back, people of Tamriel. I'm Xenocraft1212, back with another Skyrim mod showcase video. And as you can see, that is Alduin's Wall. We are inside of Skyhaven Temple. And this mod is called... Hmm, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. Probably Akaviri Daikatana, or Two-Handed Blade Sword, or something of the like. But, this is a mod that I made that simply adds a two-handed version of the blade sword. It can be found with the blade sword, which would be laying facing... I would just like kind of manipulate this maze into the place that it would be. Sort of like that. There we go. They're crossing blades, basically. And this is based off of the ebony blade. Obviously, because it looks exactly like it. A two-handed version of Dragon's Bane, based off the Feared Ebony Blade, and does 50 extra damage to dragons. And it has the same, like, special enchant that Dragon's Bane has, has the same visual appearance, and it swings way fast. So, I made it do 27 damage, which is three more than a Daedric Greatsword. I made it weigh very little because it looks very thin and it looks like it would not weigh very much at all. So I made it weigh seven pounds, which is still kind of a lot in real life. But for a sword, it's pretty light. And especially with how long it is. And since my character is level 100 and have maxed out everything, then I'm going the wrong way then the um, greatsword does 110 da 101 or is it 110? 101 damage if you have all the two-handed perks and have two-handed skill up to level 100. Now it is upgradable, which is where I'm going to a place to upgrade it, and it requires the ebony smithing perk to upgrade it to its full potential. And it uses an ebony ingot. Since it's the ebony blade, it would make sense to use ebony to upgrade it. And we're just going to another player home mod that I've shown off in the past. Is there a way to turn down rain noise? That's interior rain. I think I want to turn down way down. Well, now the lightning won't be as obvious. I wish the rain was more quiet. Anyways, actually, no, there's a way I can solve this problem right now. Okay, so hopefully that will be going away soon. So, here you go, upgrade it. And I don't know why it only went to Flawless instead of Legendary, I really do not understand. But that will bring it up to 125 if you have Smithing level 100 and all the Smithing perks and such. And without having any Fortify Smithing armor or potions, you can get this thing to a max of 125 damage. Which is a lot. It is definitely a ton. But then, of course, you can put on anything that increases smithing, and it will go up to higher, just like anything else in the game. Now it's legendary. So I don't know why it wasn't legendary without the Ring of Thousand Truths, but now it is. So let's go test this out on a dragon, shall we? Come on. I've been kind of sick recently, well not really sick, but allergies, and it has been really annoying. And also, sorry if you can hear random tumbling upstairs, that's probably my cat. See the Milky Way running across the sky there? And the stars are actually caused by the original gods fleeing fleeing the planet, I can't remember, Nern, I believe, to get back to Aetherius, 
And then the last one to leave was Magnus, and he left the sun, which is the largest hole. So every star is simply light coming from Aetherius to Nern through a hole that the god made, which is kind of interesting. Anyways, here is a dragon. And this will probably one-shot it, actually. Oh, great. That's helpful. Do I have dragons? Actually, one sec, I'm going to end up not upgrading it. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Wow! So as you can see, he's turning blue because of the dragon effect is working, and he just wrecked his poor face. So this thing is extremely effective, and keep in mind though that I was doing about 9 times the damage that I would normally be doing, so you would have had to hit it 9 times 3 amount of time, 27 instead of 23, so just keep that in mind, unless you have the Ring of Thousand Truths, or have like all of your armor fortified, so I think you're not going to be able to kill it that quickly. But I think I'm done. Like I said, this is a small mod that adds this weapon. It was made by me. And hope you enjoy. I made this because I have a character that uses two-handed swords. And I was very disappointed that there's not a two-handed katana that does extra damage to dragons. But now there is. And please like if you enjoyed, and subscribe, I have about 40 other Mod Showcase videos, and 3 of them so far I've made. But yeah, until the next video, goodbye.